Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration I'm reading for the last week of July 2018. Um, I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. And thank you for the positive energy vibration. Welcome you, um, Leahs. It is the beginning of the year 2018 for you, Leahs, which is absolutely wonderful, brilliantly fabulous, fabulous. Um, what is happening for you, Leahs? <clears throat> because um, we are moving in um, the time of uh, the sun energy because the energy of Leah is the energy of the sun. Okay, so what is happening and what is transpiring for you, Leah's, and for um, you guys, it's going to be positive because um, what is so beautiful about uh, your birthday is that you have begun exactly, exactly on the beginning of the week, and this is fabulous. This year. 2018 for you Leah's that is um that um is um born between the 23rd and the 29th of July um this year is the year of the elephant this year is the year of the elephant okay the year of the elephant means that there is a lot there is absolutely a lot that you are going to be dealing with a lot of people to resolve a lot of situation in your life. Okay, so um, expect a lot of ma um, marriages. People are going to be getting married. People are going to decide to um, come together with each other. People are going to decide um, to make decision to move in together. A lot of you, a lot of changes, a lot of movement, especially in relationships. Um, a lot of people are going to be winning lawsuits, but also um, wonderful positive energies are going to be coming out in this year. Some of you are going to need to find strength with a lawsuit, and it depends on what energies have you um, given out. If you are ego-driven, then this is not going to be working out for you. But um, if um, you were unjustly accused of that sort of a thing, then it's going to be working out a victory and a success justice um, comes in now for most of you Leo's that was born between the 23rd and the 29th it's a very positive year this year 2018 with the energy of the um, air event which is the energy of the hurt but it's yes still working a lot of karmatic situation out you're going to be seeing and you're going to be having a balance a balance but you're going to be working out a lot of karmas in 2018 okay I'm seeing um, uh, water, water, love, a whole lot of situation with love, beginning of new um, relationships, new business organization, setting up new business organization, beginning new organization, new business um, relationship and that sort of a thing. So we're going to go right in a way. We're going to call upon um, uh, my guiding agents and the universal angels that are with us in this uh, um, at this time to come in uh, for the Leah's that is um, born between the 23rd and 29th of July to come in and show um, them what they have to deal with in the year 2018. Okay, so I'm calling up on my guides and angels, Archangel Michael. I have a very beautiful because uh, I change up my readings and it, that why I change my readings up it's because my angels and guides they want to bring forth things um, that um, sometimes um, I need to change up uh, most of the times I need to change up the reading okay so for the person that was born on the 23rd um the 23rd of uh, July, you are going to be dealing with a lot of, uh, um, basically a lot of situation is going to be coming your way with an organization. Okay, so here you are with the energy of an organization. What else are you going to be dealing with uh, for the people um, that is born on the 23rd? I'm sorry, my my son dog is here and he's um, 
<laughs> he's snoring. Um, wow. Beautiful energies, beautiful energies for the people who were born on the 23rd, 23rd, 23rd. I love 23rd because not a lot of people um, are born on the, the 23rd. It's really a really odd number. What else is here? Okay. All right. So, um, for the people, and I'm hoping you guys are seeing this because I put it at at the bottom but i'm going to lift it lift it okay so for the people who were born on on the 23rd um the 23rd of um july the year 2018 is going to bring you positive um situation in organizations and that sort of a thing um payout um insurance payout tax payout uh, um, if you're looking for a mortgage, you're going to be receiving it, whatever that it is that you have to do with an organization that has to do with investment money and that sort of a thing. You are going to be receiving this. Okay. You are going to be receiving this. It's going to be a year where payouts, I'm not seeing, um, you, um, uh, I'm seeing the organization paying you out. So there's going to be payouts in an organization, but be careful of a lot of people are going to be jealous and hateful. Um, a lot of hate, jealous and regrets, uh, um, because they realize that whatever they have done and hidden it for a very long time, it's coming out now and uh, they have to pay up. So, um, kudos to you, Elias. I'm loving this for you guys. So be aware there's going to be a lot of jealousy, but it's as if something has transpired. It could be a lawsuit. It could be an accident. It could be something that unexpected money is coming in. It could be at your work that you have uh, received a new promotion and that sort of a thing. And people are hating on you for that. Okay. Let's move on and look at, um, um, the people who were born on the 24th of July, you have the energy of the lovers. Let's see what else, what other energies is coming out for the people who were born on the 24th of July. Happy birthday. I'm wishing you a wonderful year. This year is all about love. It's all about love, um, twin flame relationship, uh, soulmate relationship. It's all about the twin flame and soulmate relationship. <laughs> Um, this year, a lot of cards wants to come up. So there's a lot of stuff that is going on with you guys. Okay. Um, asking the angels to show me what is the energy, um, for the people who were born on the 24th of July. Okay. Um, a lot of marriages cause the energy of justice is here. Okay. The energy of justice is here. Um, justice. Okay. Um, the energy of justice is here. Energy of justice is here. Let's see what else is going on. Energy of justice is here. Let's see what other energies is going on. What is here? What is going on? There is a news about. So some of you um, could be getting married. Um, and some of you um, could be connecting with a past soulmate or twin flame. Okay. Um, the sign of marriages news is coming in justice news for um, the lovers news for people wonderful positive um, energy is going to be coming out whatever the situation is or was whatever is transpiring this is what is coming out and this is going to be very good okay so whatever you have been working on whatever um, you have been thinking about whatever that is going on um, and whatever that has transpired in justice injustice against you in whatever way um you are going to find out um that some news will be coming in um about your relationship and um about situations that it could be conflicts but whatever it is it's going to be working out fine okay so um congratulations to you guys at least it's not envy and eight as the rest is receiving Okay, let's look at the people who were born on the 25th. For the people who were born on the 25th of July, you have the energy um, of uh, the chariot. Now, the energy of the chariot is a beautiful energy, okay? Whatever way we look at the energy of the chariot, it's always uh, movement. So for the people who were born on the 25th of uh, July, there is going to be victory coming 
overcoming situation. It can be overcoming um, a loss in a relationship or overcoming situation that was unjust. So some people are going to be happily moving. Um, some people are going to be changing um, countries, changing places. Um, there is going to be a situation where a lot of you are going to be buying new houses. A lot of people are going to be buying new houses and new cars. I'm seeing new houses and new cars. A lot of people um, will be, some of you will be working on and some of you will be having car problems. But um, most of you are going to be having new cars. And unexpectedly, uh, this is going to be happening. And here we are. So some of you are going to be moving as I had expected. Um, some of you are going to be moving, um, moving places that, that, that's what I said in the beginning. Some of you are going to be moving places. Some of you are going to be, um, going on different journeys. Some of you are going to be separating and moving forward, um, in life in different, different ways. Um, some of you are going to be starting new relationships with people. Um, these new relationships are um, going to bring you to a place of inner peace and um, let's see what else is going to be happening and uh, um, because um, there is surely a sense of change coming in this is going to be happening for a lot of you women so a lot of you women um, movement is like um, you're going to be changing where you live okay it's, it's as if some of you are going to be moving abroad some of you are going to be um, moving um, because of a relationship you're going to um, decide um, to make a move because of a relationship and this is going to be good okay so a lot of changes are coming in not a lot of wonderful situations what I do love about your readings you guys is because justice is here twice okay so if you're going through a lawsuit of divorce or that sort of a thing, you guys are going to um, come out on top. Let's move on to the people who were born on the 25th. Uh, Twenty-six. I'm sorry. Happy birthdays to the people who were born on the 26th. You have the energy vibration of the number eight and you also have justice. So a lot of you are going to be winning money. Uh, winning lawsuit money is going to be coming to you in this year okay the infinity universe money is going to be coming in you have the energy of number eight um, the angels are going to be guiding and protecting you your full number is 44 use the number 44 um, because this is going to be helping you guys out okay I'm gonna start doing that again because some people miss um, the numbers okay let's see what is happening with justice and what is going to be transpiring for you guys um, whatever um, the burden was um, in your life whether um, with people or um, in the legal system or getting things done or that sort of a thing it's going to be coming to an end okay it's really at the end of uh, um, so in this year 2018 this is going to be a wonderful year for the people who were born on the 26th of July because you are seeing that a hand um, is coming to a burdensome situation that you have been carrying for a very very long time okay I end is coming here and the outcomes is going to be positive because you're going to be connecting with um, um, some of you are going to be receiving new contracts some of you are going to be getting married a lot of energy of marriage I keep on saying this and as you see a lot of people are going to be um, getting um, contracts and it could be government contracts it could be contracts with the legal system because you're seeing this coming in where whatever the situation whatever the burdens and that sort of a thing is all of a sudden is that it's as if a, a huge shift of, of energy is going to be coming in and uh, it's as if you are going to be receiving help and that help is that you're going to be moving and um working for um some legal organization courts and that sort of a thing or you're going to be called in um, you could be also a freelancer for um, that. It's as if they call you in for a temporary basis and that sort of a thing. So 
whatever is happening whatever lawsuit you're going to be win you're going to be walking away there is new there is so many um possibilities that is coming up for the men that was born on the 26 2 plus 2 plus 6 is 8 justice comes up um, with the number eight energy and you have number 44 so write down these number 26 44 and 8 who comes back out to eight I end in and you have seven which is the energy of the rings new contract new business contracts are going to be coming your way and these are going to be good okay so we're moving on to the people who were born on the 27th I want to say um, happy birthday um welcome to 2018 and when we look at the energy for 2018 for you guys that is born on the 27 we have the energy of the number nine that is the energy of the hermit the energy of the hermit is coming up to say you need to look within for inner wisdom and guidance so let's see what is happening what is to inspire inner wisdom and guidance as you look for inner wisdom and guidance you are going to be receiving this because the energy of the Sun is here the energy of the Sun is here and the energy of the Sun is going to bring out um, what it is that you was you know you have never seen the side of yourself it's as if the universe is going to say look at this look at who you are you are so beautiful look at this this is what the universe is going to be saying energy of the sun a lot of you are going to be traveling overseas a lot of people a lot of you are going to be very 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 um um you're going to be traveling overseas um a lot of business if you have business overseas this is going to be um app actually very good if you have business overseas this is going to be um very good i'm shifting the camera so you guys can see business overseas is going to be um extremely good whatever is happening whatever is transpiring um business overseas is going to be extremely good um some of you are going to be having luck overseas if you were deciding to go overseas and finish a study off do that um i'm seeing a lot of you going on a um, wonderful vacation expensive vacation um, some of you will be traveling far going on vacation and this vacation you'll be meeting your twin flame your soulmate or twin flame on this vacation okay money is going to be coming in to you guys um, whatever is happening is just grand positive okay let's see what is happening and and you know enjoy your year because it's going to be a beautiful year even though you have to go within and find inner wisdom and guidance it is helping you because it's bringing out um, success you're going to be success by just going within finding inner wisdom and guidance and it's going to be very successful let's look at the energy of the wheel of fortune for the people who were born on the 28th now there is so many synchronicity that is going on in this reading this 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 you leo's always bring luck in i swear okay wheel of fortune the day day is the 28 2 plus 8 is 10 wheel of fortune is the number 10 okay is this a lucky year for you guys or what 2018 for you Leos that is born on the 28th is going to be fabulous you Leos fabulous 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 let's see what else the wheel of fortune is going to bring for you the wheel of fortune is going to simply bring you help okay okay what is going to be coming love love um the wheel of fortune is going to bring you love it's going to bring you love in ways that you weren't expecting. Um, wonderful, positive, positive um, situation is going to be coming in. In love, some of you are going to be moving. Some of you are going to be buying new cars. Some of you are going to be finding your dream house. Some of you are going to be partnering up, especially you ladies are going to be very lucky. I see most of you ladies traveling for work, but I see most of you ladies relocating for um, relationship, love relationship. I see good news coming in for a lot of you ladies. If you have been divorced or um, you were going through a divorce and that sort of a thing, I see good news going coming in for you ladies because you're about to move forward in your life in a very positive way. Okay, let's see what else is happening oh my gosh okay okay I hope you guys can see this because 
The Wheel of Fortune is basically bringing you help, but not only help, it is also bringing a lot of invitations. So expect invitation for business, invitation for work, invitation for new schools, schools that you want, really, really wanted to go to, um, a new study area, invitations is coming in from different places. It's as if um, your life is about to open up in a wonderful way. So congratulations, you people that is born on the 28th of July. Let's look at the people who were born on the 29th of July and let's see what is happening, what is transpiring, how this is working for you, how this is happening for you, what is going to be taking place because you have the energy of the duality. So most of you will be um, working on a duality. Whatever the situation is, most of you will be working on a duality. And by working on duality, what is ha happening and what is uh, transpiring is that you have to find the inner strength to move forward in this year. Some of you that have legal situation, you are um, and you can win this, but it's going to be a bit of sweet winning. So if you are dealing with legalities, um, injustice, um, that sort of a thing, um, uh, conflict and that sort of a thing, you're going to win it. But at the end, you are going to be so tired, but it's going to bring you a contract or it's going to connect you with someone in love. OK, uh, there's a lot of love going around, a lot of business office that is coming up for you guys in this year. Let's see what else is coming out with the energy of strength for you, Leah's. That was um, the rest in the period is over. OK, if you guys were resting and that sort of a thing, the resting period is now over. Um, it is time that you start making things happening in your life. OK, it's this time that you start making things happen in your life. OK, let's look what else is happening for you guys. Um, um, let's see what else is happening for you guys. Um, oh, yeah. OK. Um, I love this. I love this basically because what is what is happening basically is that um, the energy that is coming in is the energy of uh, um, for the people who were born on the 29th is it's as if last year you have gone through a period where there was so many things that was happening in your life. OK. And what is transpiring in this here is that, you know, it's time to stand up. You know, you're going to be meeting friends. You're going to be connecting with people and they are going to be helping you to be a success. OK, so whatever the situation is or was, um, you're going to be connecting with people that is going to be helping you to become a success. And the success is going to be so wonderful and so positive for you. OK. Now, I've changed up the readings and I'm doing this and it's going to be um, um, a week, um, um, a year um, that you need to listen to your psychic. OK, I was told I should just do um, this. You need to listen. Um, a number 18 comes up. So um, Archangel Annuel. Is going to be working with you guys and what she's saying is that the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger okay so this is going to be one of the um archangels that is going to be working with you whether or not she's your guardian angels or not Archangel Annuel is actually um, the moon goddesses and this is um, good to use her with the full moon and whatever moon rituals that people do, she is um, a positive, positive guidance to you guys. OK. And then um, and then we have um, passion. There's a lot of relationships that is going to be coming up. Make bold and ambitious choices. OK. Great progress is possible. Important relationship with people who shares your vision. OK, so this is so good. This is so positive. And for the people who are gays and um, are, are um, 
you know, afraid of coming out the closet, make that bold decision and get out of the closet and let people know who you are. Um, who you are doesn't change. Um, what you are, your sexual preferences doesn't change anything. So if you're someone who's gay and is fighting with the situation, get out of the closet, let people know who you are. You don't really need to let people know who you are, but just be who you want to be. Okay. Kudos to you guys. I love you guys um, so much because it's not been, it's not easy um, to live um, with uh, in the closet. You know, just get out of the closet. It's going to be okay. Okay, we have Archangel Raphael, um, the Elin Angels, and um, we have the Seven of Raphael. And Raphael says, it's time to make a, a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action and needed for detox. So, you know, try and detox. It's good um, when we detox and we can just um, drink um, um, fraff grass and that sort of a thing and that detox your system, okay? Because sometimes we eat things and it is old in our system and we need to detox our system, okay? Then we have Archangel Michael. I love Archangel Michael is the angel of communication, the knight of Michael. So, you need to be strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent, okay, in this year. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes are going to be happening in your lives. And you can you can see these uh, sudden changes happening in your life because as you look at your reading and your layout, there is a lot of sudden changes that is going to be happening. It's just sudden things that is just going to be happening out of the blues. And it's just going to affect you so not thinking that only the day um that you were born is going to affect you but most of these things is going to affect you so think about your relationship think about divorcing think about marrying think about people being jealous because you have won the lot you've won some money um think about going on that lovely vacation because what is happening is that it's as if the weak bond people together because it creates this new year for um what you're about to begin because after your birthdays and this is what the people between 23rd and 24th it's bonding you to begin this new year of 2018 and what is so beautiful is that your birthday um um leo's um begin the week the 23rd and this is so wonderful and positive and Archangel Ariel is also here and she say, do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career and in your career or artistic endeavor, working with others in a cooperative manner. Okay, so isn't this beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. Um, I want to say to each and every person, um, life is basically full of a lot of surprises. Um, but, um, we need to understand that, um, life only give us what we, um, expect life only give us what we expect. This is going to be a beautiful year for you guys and enjoy your year. Um, I know I've gone over the time, but I hope that this message could help you in some way. Okay. I will take the energy card, the, the angel card and put them at the side because I don't think that you guys can see them, but I can move the video down where you guys can see them. So you had um, Archangel Aniwell, um, Archangel Gabriel, two of Gabriel, you have the seven of Raphael and you have uh, the knight of Michael that said it's time to move quickly. And um, then you have the three of Hariel. Do what you love. A time of great personal um, success is coming in. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am wishing you a wonderful, positive new year. And um, um, please remember to share these videos so that others who are not on my channel can also receive these videos because this will help them to give them um, for in uh, foresight of what is going to happen. Okay. Because 
Um, these are general readings, but the thing about the birthday readings is that they're so compact because they're in a week and they're starting your new birthday years. So this give you more information than the yearly reading because the yearly reading is for thousands of you guys and there's four different types of you guys. So I want to say please like, share these videos and I will speak to you in the month of August. Namaste. Yeah.